Here's a quick video for Stitch Artist Level 3 if I want to break up this one shape into multiple shapes. So I'll say I want to add stripes to this part of the fish. I can add nodes and break across. That is one option. I can also come in here and use my break lines on a closed shape. This allows me to, when I select this, and it doesn't matter, I don't have to be inside, I'm just creating lines where I want my shape to be broken across. So I draw one, I will click to draw another one, and if you notice, my mouse cursor is clicking outside the shape because I just want to create these lines that are going to be, they intersect the shape. So I'm basically going to create four um, sections out of this one. So these three lines are assigned to this one shape. Hopefully that makes sense. Once I have them where I want them, I can adjust them by adding new nodes and reshaping. I hit the process button. What this does is now my one shape is broken up into little ones. So if I didn't want this one in here, I can delete it and maybe select this one and move it over and create a new design. This is also handy when we have two designs that are overlapping each other. So you've drawn your fish and you're customizing them and you're layering them and you put it here. So you don't want to use remove hidden stitches. You don't want this part of his tail underneath the other fish. To do that, we're going to select the outside object, choose to add a break line. We're going to just click to create a line, right click to end process that break line. Now we have this part little object. We can just hit delete and reshape the fin as we see fit to do what we want. Super duper easy stitch at artist level three.